This destination will make you feel like you've been transported to the Avatar world. Welcome to Designing Your Travels. In today's video, we're going to introduce you to the beautiful Koran. Koran is a unique island in the Palawan province of the Philippines, but also comprises the eastern part of Busuanga Island, as well as 50 other minor islets. The island itself offers limestone cliff landscapes, white sandy beaches, and crystal clear freshwater lakes. Perfect for those people who not only want to sunbathe and relax, but who are also up for a bit of an adventure. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we take you through our review of Quran. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit that notification button, as we're sure you'll want to be the first one to watch the best travel guide videos on YouTube. Quran Bay is literally where the magic happens, so that's obviously where we're starting. Imagine a blend of deep blue waters seamlessly melting into the limestone cliffs, but this isn't even the most exciting part. Bear with us. On the 24th of September 1944, a US bomber squadron appeared above the Japanese ships hiding in Koron Bay and opened fire. Instantly, 10 ships were sunk and are still well preserved underwater for all to see. You're still able to admire the military exterior, which is now covered in corals and full of marine life, such as mandarin fish, seahorses, anemones, barracuda, cuttlefish, giant clams, moray eels, turtles, lobsters, angelfish, and so much more. The best time to dive in Koron Bay is during the dry season, which runs from December to March. The weather is good and the visibility underwater will be at its best. To skip the crowds, we recommend diving via a liverboard, which starts at roughly $350 per day and honestly, it is so worth it. If you'd rather dive during the day and sleep on land at night, then there are hotels to suit all budgets. Of note, we would recommend the Busuanga Bay Lodge, a luxurious hotel perfect for a tropical escape, and it's roughly $122 per night. For a more budget-friendly option, we recommend the Cocovana Beach Resort, which has an in-house restaurant, guest lounge, and free Wi-Fi. The best dive spots are as follows. Seven Islands Reef, Okikawa Maru, Morazan Maru, Kalumbayan Reef, Barracuda Lake, and Lusong Gumboat. Let's now move from sea to land to discover what Koron has to offer. Kingfisher Park is filled with mangroves and birds with a lot of natural wildlife to discover. There is a walkway above the water where you can see all kinds of trees and you're also able to kayak from the ocean down to the river filled with mangroves and then back out to the open sea. We personally recommend messaging the park directly to book their firefly night tour where the sky is lit up with stars and fireflies. There are rowing boats lined up at the shoreline where you'll be whisked away, encompassed in fireflies to see the bioluminescent planktons in the water. Everything glows at night and that is the truth. Not only this, but due to the distance away from the city, you can perfectly see the stars at night. A truly magical experience indeed. Macrinet Hot Springs are a must on your Koran trip, as it is one of the only saltwater hot springs in the world, and it is also fueled by an active underwater volcano. It won't erupt anytime soon, so don't panic. There are two pools of warm salt water at the site, and it takes around 30 minutes to get there by tricycle. What better way to reward yourself than to jump into salt water that's around 37 to 40 degrees? It will take time to adjust to the water temperature, but stick it out, as it will get more soothing and therapeutic the longer you stay, and you'll have an amazing view while doing it. Mangrove trees and mountains surround the area, as well as lots of little fairy lights reflecting onto the pools, making for picturesque memories indeed. The hot springs cost around 200 pesos for entry, and you can stay as long as you would like to. If you'd really like to work for your hot springs experience, then we would recommend booking a tour that encompasses both the hot springs and a trek up Mount Tapias. The viewpoint at the top gives you some of the best views in all of Quran, and it takes 700 steps to reach the peak. So remember to bring water, and we wish you good luck. Snorkelers, listen up. We know some people don't want to dive, so let's dedicate this next discovery to you and introduce you to Lake Kayanyang, the Twin Lagoons, and Skeleton Reef. Lake Kiangang is basically Koron Bay, but inside the forest. It is peaceful and it is beautiful. It will take you around 15 minutes to reach and is combined of about 70% fresh water and 30% salt water. It is believed to be inhabited by spiritual beings. Apparently they're friendly, don't worry, we checked. And it's definitely a must visit. Next up are the Twin Lagoons, two small lakes created inside limestone cliffs filled with turquoise water. While you swim, you'll be met with both cold and hot water spots adding to the unique experience whilst you swim through the limestone archway to the other lagoon. 
Finally, we have Skeleton Reef, a small lagoon filled with beginner divers and snorkelers. It is home to a sunken Chinese fishing vessel, which amazingly increased the growth of an amazing reef. It is filled with colorful corals, giant red and blue clams, and big schools of brightly colored fish going about their business. It is incredibly easy to hire a fisherman's boat to go and see what lies beneath the water. Beach dwellers, we have you covered. Malkapuya Island is a hidden paradise for those of us who want peace and quiet while we catch our rays. It is approximately a two and a half hour boat ride away from Koron Town and is a stretch of fine white sand, as well as swaying coconut trees, a totally Instagrammable moment here. You're picturing it, aren't you? It is also easy to snorkel and see the corals straight from the beach. The best accommodation on the island has to be the Two Seasons Koron Island Resort and Spa. It's a turtle and giant clam sanctuary and is well known for being the first eco-friendly luxury island resort in Koron. They offer introductory dive courses as well as kayaking in the transparent kayaks we see so often on the gram. So plus plus all round. Balogtos Island is another island that is perfect for the person who wants to get off the grid. Filled with sandbars, turquoise waters and surreal landscapes, it is utterly awe-inspiring and is a short boat ride away from Malkapuya. The only bad thing we have to say about this beautiful tiny island is that it is filled with marine life and not all are friendly, so please watch out for stingrays, parrotfishes and the snappers. To finish off our beaches, we'll take you to none other than Banana Beach on Banana Island. The best beach in Koron, to laze around and take a delightful afternoon nap on the fun hammocks attached to the coconut trees. Another unmissable experience on land is Kalawit Safari Park, a game reserve and wildlife sanctuary on a 3,700 hectare island located off the coast of Palawan. It first opened in 1976 and is home to many animal species from Africa, such as giraffes, which you can hand feed, crocodiles and monkeys, as well as species native to the Philippines, such as the Kalamanian deer. The fee to enter the park is around 300 pesos, as well as 100 pesos for the environmental fees. Visitors can book an organized tour or make their own way to Kalawit Island. Finally, we have Kalyan Island. It is nowhere near as developed as Koron Town and the only way to it is by boat. Because it is so small, most people opt to only spend the day here through the numerous day trips that are on offer and we personally recommend the same. The island is home to the Tag Banua indigenous groups and the culture is thought to be the oldest modern human culture in the Philippines. Many old archaeological sites across the province have been linked to this group and you'll find a mixture of culture and history throughout due to the American and Japanese occupations throughout the years. There are many tours offered to take you through the town, giving you an insight into its past, as well as its previous use as a leper colony. We're being serious. Once you're back from your trip, we recommend heading to Levine's, the best place in Quran to try the local cuisine of Sisig that will leave you wanting for nothing. From tofu sisig to beef sisig and even octopus sisig, it really is a culinary adventure. You will have the view of the whole bay at your fingertips capturing every sunset perfectly. And with dishes starting from around $2.50, it is also an absolute steal. That concludes our review of the beautiful Quran. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed writing it. Did you realize that there was so much to Quran other than diving? We didn't either. Let us know in the comments below if we missed anything, we would love to hear from you. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, where we post travel-related content every other day. As always, safe travels.